1949, I began student teaching at Gunbow State School, and that gave me a pay packet that meant I could buy an adjustable camera from a family friend. And here it is, a Zeiss Oconta. It had a shutter that went to one 250th of a second, and also a self-timer, a double exposure prevention, and a 120 film provided eight negatives per roll at six by nine centimeters. All the controls had to be set manually. Shutter speed had to be set, shutter cocked each time, and then the aperture and focus set. So the important thing was to remember to do all those things, hence these reminders. But how to know what aperture or f-stop uh, settings meant and how the settings are of aperture and shutter and focus all interacted. No Google then, uh, some photographic magazines and uh, it was a matter of experiment. I didn't have a tripod so I had to find something to rest the camera on to take a, a selfie. Of course it was rather limiting only being able to produce contact prints that size. So eventually I built an enlarger and I was able to produce prints this size. Here are a couple more examples. Uh, photos using that camera. <laughs> 